we got to kick it off with Perry Collier and Smoke. Thanks again, uh, Joanna DJ. <laughs> First jump here in Diving Dog. And that was Perry Collier, Collier and Smoke, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. We'll get you the distances and all that good stuff as we go along. This is a three round competition in Diving Dog. It is the best distance for, of three for each dog. That will determine their top score. So they have three shots. Not bad. 27 feet, 11 inches. Perry Collier and Smoke. Collier and Smoke. So Perry Collier and Smoke. 26, 26, 11. So even a little bit lower on the distance, 26, 11. 26, 11 is the first distance out of the gate. And here we're looking at Shizzo, Rachel Crowley. And Shizzle from Vegas, three-year-old male Dutch Shepherd Steffi. Okay, go, 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 go,
Nice throw, nice jump. That's Eric Foreman is Odin. These dogs, it's almost like they get warmed up. You get that first jump going, get that nice little jump. The furthest distance, 27-9 by Tonkin in yeah, the first round of the run. First down, round so of the diving dog competition. The it's the best of three. 25 feet, 2 inches. 25 feet, 2 inches. For Odin and Eric Foreman. Probably going to have to get a little further out there in the pool on round two to get into the round three. This dog has all sorts of titles for jumping. Competes internationally as well. I talk about the world's best dogs we have here. A lot of these dogs compete on the world's Amy Peterson so and Hudson. Coming up next, Amy Peterson and this Hudson. Is still just a youngster, but a lot of potential. Yes! Vacayville, California. Oh, yeah. Wow, getting out there. Two-year-old male Belgian Malinois. Really getting out there in that pool. Hudson and Amber Peterson. We'll see what they get here in the first round. That was a big one. Thirty-one feet three inches, a gigantic jump. Thirty-one feet three inches for Amber or Amy Peterson and Hudson. Thirty-one three. Two years ago, that would have been the world record. One year ago, it would have been. So that ranks pretty high. Get close to that Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge world record jump. By the way, which is a 32 foot 3 inch jump by Bibi and Lee Sandstrom from San Diego. So 31 3 by Hudson is now the distance to beat a very big jump. Susie Nicholson jump. and Iris. I have to make an example of you, but we saw that throw just went straight up. Susie and Nicholson and Iris from so Reno, Nevada. It a lot. It's that combination. It's a, it's a duo up there, the TV one. And that's a good jump. 27 10. That's a good jump. 27 10. That's not bad for the miscue. Twenty-seven ten right, for Iris Shepherd. and Susie Nicholson. Ashley Reefer is from Santa Cruz, California. Got second place at this event last year. Both Ashley right for some Pyro. This is a good combination right here. Go! Go, 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 go! Pyro is ranked in the top ten. Wow, in fact, sixth as far as on our world record list. Pyro has the goods to get up there in that top three. That was a good jump. Today. The throw was out there as well, that big old. Top score, 31 3. Top jump, top distance. By Amy, Amy Peterson and Hudson. See what Pyro jumped. That's why this dog got fourth at Nationals. 30.6. 30 feet 6 inches. Make some noise for that. 30 feet 6. 30 feet, 6 inches right, in the number two spot. This is like the Diane Saltz and Cochiti. Now, Cochiti was part of the back and forth world record score. And when I talk world records, we're talking about the world record in this particular series of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Lee Sandstrom in the number one spot, 32 feet, 3 inches on our world record list. Diane Saltz, who you're looking at right here, is in second. 32 feet on our all-time biggest jumps. 
her handlers up here. She's throwing that thing out there ahead of time. Coach G gets to look at it. Knows it's there. Now, Whippets, as you know, folks, these are extremely fast dogs. This dog is 0 to 60. I see a lot of people online dog. talking about no time. two handlers. Watch how it's just like being shot out of a can. can't personally answer that question, that but I'm going to try to get you guys somebody who that understands it better from this series and this event. For that question his or her way. Hopefully I can get somebody on the short and talk about it a little bit. Wow, big jump by Kajidi. Shooting out there. Used a lot of that upward motion into the outward momentum. Let's see if that worked. That score right there. Good jump. Hard to, hard to tell that dog hits that water so fast. 28, 28 feet, 6 inches. Feet, 6 inches. inches. 28 feet, 6 inches. And it's a big jump, but not so much for Kuchidi in comparison to the jumps that we've seen in past events here in this series. So Kuchidi will have to use round two to get distance added on. And another dog that's been very impressive over the years on this series, Remy. And Remy is up there, again, one of the back and forth dogs when we talk about the shift of leaders within our world record, all-time world records. Again, Vivi has 32 feet, 3 inches, Kuchidi 32 feet. Remy, who you're looking at here, had a 31-foot, 9-inch jump last year in June. That was at our Denver, Colorado event. Come on, Remy, let's go, let's go! And Remy also sits number five on our all-time jumps. So, and number nine, so Remy's name very popular amongst the top ten of our all-time greatest diving dog jumpers. Kochidi had a 28-6. John Langdon and Remy, as you just saw there. Here we go, guys. 31 feet, 1 inch. 31, 1. 31, 1. Getting the second place spot behind Hudson. So it looks like this after round one of the incredible diving dog competition. Hudson in number in the number one position, 31-3. Number two is Remy at 31-1. And Pyro in third, 30 feet six inches. And now that everybody has a taste of the, the water and the flow and the crowd surrounding the area, we'll see what the handlers have done to prepare for the second round. Second round coming your way. Smoke. Wow, smoke getting out there. Set the pace here in round two. Twenty eight feet seven inches, folks, twenty eight seven. Improved by over two feet. All right, coming up next, Schmitzo, Doug Shepard Sappy. Again, one of my favorite dogs of the weekend right here. Ready? Okay, go, 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 go. It's because of that look, it's such an interesting, unique looking dog. Uh, 
If you hit, that's all right, but we're only gonna get back to wild. Not really, I wish we could. Invite only, VIP. 25 8, or 6 0, 25 8. 25 feet 8 inches. By Schizo. And then back on those qualified, and boy, we're getting ready to see Hudson that top dog jump again. 25 8, 25 feet 8 inches. So less than their first round. 26 6, that'll hold as their highest so far. Round two of Diving Dog. Next up, Jack Russell, Portal Racing. Tonka and Rich Schaefer. Get ready. They had a 27 foot 9 inch jump in round number one. Set. First. 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 Good job, Tonka. We'll see if you can move on that 27-9 from round one. You can see the pool now. It's a new pool. And to add to the end of it, because all these, all these dogs are getting better and better and better at the sport of diving dog. And so the extension of the pool was to accommodate the progression of the sport. We're about halfway done. 27 feet 6 inches, 27 feet 6 inches, so not improving after round number one. And here's Roberta and Harry coming back out. Roberta Bastaki and Harry from Mesa, Arizona. The Chesapeake and Bay Retriever is only 18 months old as he takes a leap into the pool. 23-1 after round number one. Kind of in that same range here, it looks for round, for round two. Twenty-one feet, one inch, twenty-one-one for Harry. Eric Foreman and Odin coming back up. 25-2. That's the distance they got, 25 feet 2 inches in the first round. Eric and Odin are from Berkeley, California. It's like in that 24, 25 foot range again. Coming up is Hudson, our leader after round number one, 31 feet 3 inches is what they got. They're our leaders after round one, Odin. Now our Foreman, 25 2, round number one. Actually, a good distance, 27 feet 5 inches, 27 5 for Odin and Eric Foreman. So that's a good score for them, improving by a couple feet there. As we look at our first round leader, and, and, and creeping up on that. Yeah. Incredible dog challenge. World record distance of 31, 32-3. This is 31-3 was there, so another foot. They've rivaled the big guys here. Distance, but it looked like it was that far out that time. You saw the snapping for it. Interesting, that's a fast dog. So it looks like that dog just kind of crept up on her a little bit, surprised her at the end. He did a good job getting rid of that bumper. But boy, Hudson was on top of that real quick. I don't think that's going to top Hudson's first jump. 29 feet 10 inches, 29. 
Feet 10 inches, that's a big jump. But that 31 foot 3 inch jump will hold them into the lead for the moment as we look at Iris, who had a 27 foot 10 inch jump in the first round. Susie Nicholson is the trainer, they're from Reno, Nevada. Somebody's asking online about who will be competing in the fly ball competition. Looks like uh, OMG, Maya, Suspect, Sequel, Whiskey, Clayton, Shizo again in there, and Ted. That's the dog's names, obviously, so. Hopefully that helped out a little bit. It's coming up shortly, fly ball demonstration. Coming your way at 2 p.m. as we just looked at Iris and Susie Nicholson coming in 27 feet 2 inches. So 27 2, not as big as their first round. All right, three yet to go in our second round. We're going to break it down and have our just our top dogs jump that third bonus jump. Cairo. Duck Shepard, this dog jumped 30 feet, 6 inches. First time around, currently third place. Now once again, just to get you up to speed, we are in the second round of Diving Dog. And it is the best of three that will count in this competition. However, after this round two, we'll narrow it down to the top five. The top five are the only competitors who get a third jump. So now's the time to get it done here in round two. Got to lock in a spot to secure a position in round three and get that third chance. The number one distance, 31 feet 3 inches. That's by Amy Peterson and Hudson. They'll obviously go into that third round. They will easily have a shot at winning this competition. Remy has 31-1 as a top score. Remy's coming up and Cochiti. We'll see what Pyro got. Pyro and Ashley right first. 31 or 30-11. 30 feet 11 inches. So that's improving by five inches after round number one. So they will advance easily to the third, the third round. And here is Cochiti. Cochiti, a very impressive dog. Cochiti sits number two on our all-time distances logged here on this particular series, the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Cochiti had a distance of 32 feet in San Diego, June of 2012, so just a little bit less than a year ago. No excuses today, folks. No wind, beautiful weather, beautiful setting. We are giving dog food away. We're giving the highest quality dog food on the market away. If you want to go get some of that, there's a little souvenir. Also, while you're hanging on the stairs, make sure you get the P5 after this. Free. Get whatever one you want. You can teach your dog how to do this at a local pond or swimming pool or swimming hole, whatever you've got. I know we are in the desert here, but there's lots of pools. Let's jump in the Rio pool. Here we go, Cochini. Darting straight out. Didn't look like it, didn't look like that 30 foot mark was hit. We'll see the overhead camera tells all. You know it's always going to be a far jump, but you just don't know that distance. But it's going so darn fast there at the end. Dropping into that pool. They got to get up over 30 feet if they want to be in the top three right now. Just shy of 30, 28 feet, 10 inches. 28, 28, 10, 28 10 for feet, 10 inches. So a little bit better than round one. Remy coming up, final competitor in our second, our second round. All right, Remy. Our final John Langdon bonus and Remy folks. from Arvada, California. Remy holds down three, actually four record jumps, four record jumps in our top 11, all-time top 11. 
feet one inch first jump. I know he was at Nationals last year. He got second place, just got edged out of that top spot, national champ. Let's see what Remy can do right here. Come on, Remy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go, Remy. Up and out. That was pretty good. They had a 31 foot, one inch jump. We are going to see Remy though for that third bonus jump, obviously. In the first round. Remy will be one of those, regardless of that jump distance. Here we go. Remy. 29 feet 6 inches. 29 feet 6 inches. Alright, we have our top 6 dogs. And one of those top 6 is the Qualifier dog, Smoke, congratulations, Smoke, you get that extra bonus jump. We'll see what Smoke can do, currently sitting in sixth place. Moose, I'm going to hand the mic to you real quick. What do you think about these dogs flying to the pool? You mentioned I'll give you guys to the top six. I'm not mistake earlier. I said top five advance to the third round. The top six actually advance to the third round. We'll do some quick math. I mean, obviously, we have our number one position of, of Hudson with that 31 3. Bleasley advance. Pyro's in. Remy's in. Up and out. Make a little noise for Smoke, folks. That was Smoke's third round. He's been with us a long time, as I mentioned. Still putting it together, having a great time. Cochiti's in. Twenty-seven feet two inches. Twenty-seven two for Smoke. So the best of three for Smoke will be twenty-eight seven. For smoke on that one. So they'll log a 28 okay. foot Let's seven see. inch jump as their best of three. This is our top dog right here. 31 feet three inches. Amy and Hudson, the young Belgian Allen Wong. Get ready for this, folks. Amy Peterson and Hudson. Yes. Wow. Oh, interesting. I was so cool. That's a great example of seeing how the dog reacts to the throw. The throw was out there, not very high. So Hudson sort of got that little crouch and was crouched up the entire time, trying to get his body down to catch that bumper. So they make that adjustment and they go bouncing off the end there. Even though it wasn't a real high throw, you get that trajectory up and out. It was a far enough throw. We'll have to see. I don't know if that's going to top Hudson's first jump. Hear me okay? Guys, if you just join us, we are live on MarkNetwork.com. 31-1 is jump three. 31-1. 31, 30 feet one. So their top time will be the 31 foot three inch jump. That's what they will log. Now we'll bring them on camera in a second. We just want to continue the live coverage of the actual event. Todd Mernon is sitting next to me. He's one of the guys out here who's put a lot of time into the sport and everything else. And Todd, you'll be out here doing what today? I'm going to be judging the uh, freestyle flying disc and kind of keeping the crowds entertained. Go, 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 go. Got it. Yeah. You've done the uh, diving dog before? I saw you out there kind of training it earlier. Yeah, I got one of my dogs, Drip. He's a uh, dog diver. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah? Oh, right on. So 
we're just in the third round about to crown a champion here in this 28-3 for Iris. So that's a great jump, 28 feet, three inches for Iris, and that will be the top distance for Susie Nicholson and Iris. Next up, Pyro. What are the, some of the keys to, to being successful in this particular event, Todd? Well, placement of the toy is everything in this one. You want to always place the toy just out of the dog's reach to the right stretch it. Yep. And get a maximum distance of the toy. Speed and get the dog out of the dog. So all of that combines. Now, how do you, is it just constant repetition and training to get to that level? Yes. Always training and uh, being positive with the dog and uh, letting the dog have fun. Uh, nutrition is not Well, that was Pyro that just went right there. I mean, Pyro has been very impressive throughout the years and has, has logged some, some world record distances in the past. Yeah, Pyro is an amazing dog and Ashley is a really great trainer. Fun team to watch. Now, a lot of young dogs all of a sudden come on the scene sometimes, and they're just naturally good, even without the many years of training, it seems like. You know what I mean? It's kind of, is it sometimes kind of lucky once in a while? I mean, you just have the right, the right breed and the right dog, and they kind of get it? Yeah, it's really fortunate when that happens, and uh, you always feel like a uh, great <laughs> trainer when your dog just steps up on the dog and just does it naturally. Yep. And that's kind of what's been great. Got it. 31 feet 2 inches. 31 feet 2 inches. That will be the top distance for Pyro. Well, that's what it took a little bit. They were back there. They came down to that final inch. They had to make sure. So they slow mo, replay, freeze frame. Make sure they dial that in. So Pyro going from third to second as of now. Two dogs yet to go. 31 feet 2 inches for Pyro. 31 2 for Pyro. A former world record holder. And those three things gun over jump. Gun over say right now, your dog. And we got to see the dog in there. And the oh, Cochini, yeah. I mean, this is it's really, I mean, it's, it's funny because you. It, all, it seemed like when I started doing work on this series and I was just being introduced to all this stuff. I mean, it was all labs. It was all labs, all labs. And all of a sudden, you, you know, uh, 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 what came along? I mean, the, uh, the, yeah, they started doing well. And then, and then it was just all of a sudden, these different breeds and everyone thought it was only the water dogs, only the water dogs. And so like, the ones that aren't familiar with water as much that we know of started doing well. Now with it, I know. You know? That's a lot of expectation to have. Really Way at the end. Ah. So much speed going into the Cochini, you can do it. I like that. All right, it's out there. Final jump for Cochini. Cochini coming up now. Working the free throw. Cochini hovering right around that fourth, fifth place right now. What do you think? Lightning fast. I mean, you, 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 you notice all the little teeny, you know, things that go along with it, the mistakes or what the competitor could have done better. Mostly the handler, it seems like, too. I mean, it's, it's all about that throw, too. Yeah, that throw. And, uh, what you want to do is you want to get the dog as close to the edge as possible. The in the 31-foot zone here in Las Vegas. Yep. And that is big, big, big time. Might have looked like a little bit short at the end of the dog. Got it. Beautiful day here in Las Vegas, the first stop of the 2013 Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. I'm Trace Worthington. Our live stream is a bit frozen, so apologies to those folks watching live stream. The best thing to do is come here and watch it yourself live. That way you definitely won't miss it. In the beautiful weather, you know, who is going to miss Las Vegas? I mean, although, although we aren't going to San Diego this year, that was actually that was pretty fun. You know, all the venues that the uh, IGC is located at, 30 feet 11 inches on that one, 30 feet 11 inches, jumping right into four. 30 feet place. 11 for Cochiti, 30 feet 11. Oh, 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 oh. So we have our top three right now, guaranteed, all the dogs to jump 31 feet. 
Hudson in the top line right now. Pyro. We just saw Pyro jump two ago, jumping in the second place. By one inch. That put a run in the dog we're going to see right now. Into third. And they're all separated by a couple of inches. Belgian down the wall. First place last year. Second on that floor. What dog do you compete with in a freestyle Ready. flying disc? I have a Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 And that was Remy. We're back up with you live here on the, the stream. Come on! Yeah. Truly unbelievable. It's incredible. The Purina Pro by an incredible dog challenge. 29-10 on that final jump. 29-10. Once again, just put those hands together for all those dogs. 29-10. 29 right feet 10 inches for Remy. So the top dogs today, Iris, or I mean, sorry, Jack Hudson Russell and Pyro Hurley and Cochini. You do not want to miss this. You never know what's going to happen. It's fast, it's furry, it's furious. Dogs all over the place. For Hudson, Russell, number two position is Pyro at 31 2, and then Cochini at 30 feet 11. Course. So a lot of guys getting over that, uh, a lot of dogs getting over that. Uh, bring them on. So a lot of dogs getting over that 30 foot mark. And uh, we can't say that from, you know, a few years ago, I would imagine, right? I know. It's 